I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? I don't need no hand-holding offer. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had the look, I'm taking half the money. All right, let's get going then. It should be on its way right now. Seems like only yesterday you and me were shooting our way in here to rob those... Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'd be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. You got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Your time will come. Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the feller told you about this? It's a sound lead, I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay. Yeah, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. run for murder before falling in with you boys for three years it ain't like i'm new to any of this uh, those fellas who killed your pa yep and i'd do it again right now of course Okay, here we are. Let's leave the horses Easy, off the road girl. to the right here. I figured we'd take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. There it is. And I don't see no escorts, neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? I said wait for my lead. This is a robbery. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapon. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me! 
Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. Shit. U.S. Marshals, you're under arrest. You won't. Ah. Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh, to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. He's still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right, see you back at camp.
What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill, this is a death sentence. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. Does that count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. So, <laughs> who told you I'm about joking. this? Please tell me it wasn't no Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? <clears throat> Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails. Unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey. I like you boys, and with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. Let's cut across here, it'll be quicker. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, we're gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped. Half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Okay, here we are. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. Them in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side.
try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. How poke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Uh, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. You gonna help me? Oh, you gotta. Oh, you gotta. Um, um, please. My arm. My arm's on fire. Ah. Please, do something. I'll get you help. Just uh, stay alive. Okay. Come on. Girl. Okay. Hey, you're okay, girl. There's a girl. Uh, uh. That's a good girl. I can't. 
feel it anymore. Fine horse you got there. All right, friend. All right, we're at the doctor. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. Right here. And sit him down in this chair. Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. Ah! I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh... I'll give you something for the pain. No. There you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Sorry it's come to this. Ah, oh, Jesus. in a bad way, but you'll pull through. That was good work, Doctor. Yeah, he's lucky. Wounds like that will kill you if you aren't careful. He's lucky he just lost the arm. It's nice of you to stay, but... Don't fret. He'll make it. Come now. Let's let him rest. All we can do now is hope for the best. Let's go, girl. Arthur! Yeah, I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. 
Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. <laughs> Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. You've never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind. To kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. 